Chef Roxanne Spruins had competing interests growing up in Chicago, food and field hockey. A star athlete in high school and college, she also loved cooking, beginning a series of unpaid apprenticeships in some of Chicago's top dining restaurants. By 22, she had already become an executive chef. In 2010, she moved to New York and into the kitchens of two renowned restaurants, Wiley Dufresne's legendary WD-50 and the top-rated Blue Hill at Stone Barns. And last year, she opened a place of her own, Kingsley, featuring creative French-American cuisine. Chef Roxanne Spruins, good morning. Welcome to The Dish. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Tell us about what's on this table. Yeah, so uh, we really focus on uh, local and seasonal cuisine. We have a roasted pork rack here. We do a whole animal in-house from local farms. Wow. And we also have one of our specialties, the grilled octopus. Um, which we're serving with cucumbers and heirloom tomatoes right now. And then we have our summer vegetable salad with a white balsamic and hazelnut vinaigrette. And tell us about this very <laughs> handsome looking drink this mm -hmm. morning. This is our Oaxaca smash. Oh, it wow. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers to that. Yeah, yeah cheers. cheers. So Oaxaca it's um, smash. Oaxaca smash. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. yeah. We muddle ginger with a spicy agave. The mezcal adds kind of a nice, like, smokiness to it. It's delicious. Um, Where did the love of cooking and food come from for you? I grew up in downtown Chicago. Um, both of my grandparents on both of my parents' side were mm -hmm. terrible cooks. Like, my 96-year-old <laughs> so not from them. <laughs> no. So my 96-year-old grandmother still puts pineapple in lime jello. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And, um, and so when I was growing up, my parents, when they got together, kind of decided that they would start cooking. And so... Julia Child was, you know, right, a big part of all on. of that. And so, you know, we were baking bread. We were at the farmer's market. I kind of fell into it. And uh, one of my dad's former students was working for Paul Kahn at Blackbird. And that's how I kind of got my foot in the door when I was 15. And So you were playing field hockey in the summer, but then going to these... To I was playing field hockey in the morning right. and then going to the restaurant in the afternoon. Right. And then when it came time for college, though, you played field hockey, but you also told me, what was, what was the dual major? Uh, environmental biology, zoology, and fisheries and wildlife. Which does not feel like cooking. It actually ties in really well. We work so closely with a lot of local farmers. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to talk to fishermen about whether they're using long line, you know, what's going on with things like that. What brought you to New York eventually? Uh, I got offered a position at WD-50 yeah. um, on the Lower East Side for Wiley Dufresne. Uh, so I moved out here in 2010 to work for him, which was really an enlightening and eye-opening experience. And, and from there, you went to Blue Hill at Stone Barns, and that was had to be really different. It was different being on the farm, being at that, you know, having a menu that isn't even written, being able to kind of experiment and use this amazing produce and ingredients. That's kind of what Kingsley has become, you know, we can only do so much as chefs. It really is based on how good your ingredients are when you start. Mm. There was a great quote that I read from you. Some girls plan their weddings. I plan my restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, it, but is this the sustainability that you have at Kingsley? Is that what you had in mind back then? Yeah, always. I mean, I, you know, even with the majors, I was always interested in the environment and what goes on with that. So I'm extremely proud to say that Kingsley is a zero landfill restaurant. Uh, we produce ag zero trash. Um, everything mm -hmm. is uh, composted, recycled, uh, whole animal utilized. It, it really all does tie in together, and it's it's become all of my interests kind of smushed into one. Well, it is the dish, so time for you to sign the dish. Well, and as you're you. doing so, we'll ask you if you could have a meal with anyone, past or present. Who would it be? Uh, I would have to say Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, excellent An interesting choice. meal. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's our first vote for I know, the Supreme that, Court really? Justice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love I love me some RBG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'd like to indulge. <laughs> Chef Roxanne Spruance, thank you. Thank you so much. And for more on Chef Spruance and the dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.